Cruz. I know. Yeah. We're hitting you with all three mediums at once here. So. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know where to look. Just, just, don't worry about it. <laughs> look, look at him. Okay. So we're here at Comic Con okay. 2012. Uh, Yay. Promoting Femme Fatales. Uh, tell us a little bit about the show and your role in the show and what you think of this whole Comic Con uh, experience. Uh, my character is, I'm Catherine Annette, and my character is called Tiffany. Um, she's Femme Fatale, obviously. Uh, she starts out in Girls Gone Dead, which is in the first season, where she's the president of a sorority. Um, and she lures men into her sorority house. She's like Black Widow, so she creates a manipulative uh, web and she lures them in and traps them and kills them. And then she enjoys killing so much, because it's fun, doesn't everybody, right? So she appears uh, later in season one in Visions one and two, and then in uh, extracurricular activities in season two uh, to kill some more. <laughs> she likes killing, it's fun. Everybody's gotta have a hobby. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? Is that, I mean, her, I is that her major at the, at, the, at the college? Is it? Can you major in murder? I don't think you can. Well, if not, there should be. She right? would if you could, right? <laughs> she she majors in women's studies. That's okay. what a femme fatale does. So, <laughs> drawing any of your own collegiate experience or anything for this role? I'm not my well, maybe like maybe if you consider the boys I dated during my collegiate experience <laughs> and that I might want to murder no, or take revenge on. I actually was in a sort. Everybody asked me, were you a sorority uh, girl at all? And I was like, no, I've never, ever joined that. Uh, it never appealed to me. But now that I was a sorority president on TV, I kind of want to go back and relive it because it was so much fun. I had so many great girlfriends that killed with me. So, you know, that's where you find your best friends, right? They could remake Back to School with yeah. The Rodney right? Dangerfield movie, and you could just be in that. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are some other things people might have seen you in other roles? Um, you'd like to talk about upcoming things, things you've done. I'm in Lucky Bastards with Betsy Rue, which is another fun thing to She's in Libra. I was in Super Shark, which is on Sci Fi. And I have a couple, there's um, I'm on warriorshowdown.com. If you go on there, um, it's another, it's kind of fun thing to where there's warriors that. Uh, fight each other, and the audience decides who wins. So it's really interactive, it's fun. It's like Mortal Kombat, world's deadliest warriors combined. So it's super cool. And then I have some projects in development that, you know, when they're officially get the go-ahead, I'll be posting and blogging about it. Do you have to train to do the whole combat show? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, a combat fighter. I sword fight, I do fencing and all that fun stuff. I use my fists and my feet and my wit and my charm, right? There you go. To kill, so. Uh, what do you think of this whole Comic-Con experience? I love it. I am so exhausted. <laughs> it's so much fun. I want to do everything and I've been trying to do everything and meet as many people as I want and everybody's amazing. Everybody has such a different story and a reason they're here and I just, it's so great meeting all these people, especially like living in LA, you just meet entertainment people and you, you know, you kind of get stuck in the bubble of, cause, cause acting is a full-time job if you're not acting or looking for your next job or writing your next job or preparing for your next job. So you're just surrounded by entertainment people, which is great. Sometimes you forget, you know, that there is the real world out there and not that Comic-Con is in any way Unreal. the real <laughs> world. Um, but it's just great to talk to people from all over the states and the world and just hear why everybody's at Comic-Con. It's always an interesting story. So have you had a chance to go like hang out and roam the floor and check any panels or have you just been working the whole time? I've been working a lot, but I did get to um, walk the panels, not the walk the panel, walk the floor today and I went to the old comic book section um, with a couple of friends of mine. It was great because A, the crowds were thinned out, which was nice because I get a little bit claustrophobic. Um, and it was just great seeing like the, all the old timers, you know, the people there, that were there before Hollywood invaded and just hear their stories and see their passion projects and everything. Um, I went to a couple of amazing parties. I went to the Furnet party last night, Con of the Dead, which was amazing, put on by Furnet. And there were zombies hanging from the ceiling and like brains for food. And like you'd walk around the corner and somebody would jump out. So it was like a, a horror party for Jan or January, Friday the 13th. And um, yeah, I just went to a couple. Oh, and then E1 had their party, which was amazing. So. Are you a big zombie fan? I am now because the world is taken <laughs> over by zombies. If I don't start liking them, I'm screwed, right? <laughs> I'm befriending the, uh, them. <laughs> you need to go through the obstacle course thing they got. I know, I heard about that. I want to, but right now I couldn't. I can barely walk across the floor right now, A, because of these heels. 
and Femme Vitale heels, and B, because I have been up for three days straight. So I actually am like a zombie. Like People might be like, she's really good at being a zombie, and it's just me like, oh my god, I need to go to sleep, you know what I mean? So uh, we're here, you know, comic books, superheroes, yeah. and all that. So one question I've been asking all week is, what is your kryptonite? Whether it be like a weakness, a guilty pleasure, however you want to define your kryptonite. What would it be? Oh man, I have so many of them. So many vices, so many kryptonites. Um, okay, I'm gonna say a couple of different answers, and they're all cheesy. One is dark chocolate. I'm sorry, I'm a girl. I can't help it. We got Ben and Jerry's, so we're good. Uh, <laughs> Another, and this is another girly answer, is my, I have a little dog, she's a, she's a Pekingese and she's 14 years old and she's blind and she's the sweetest thing and what she does is she, I take her on walks and like I'll be in a bad mood or I'll hate the world or something I take her on walks and she'll just hit the posts because she can't see them, she's completely blind and she'll just go and, and just wash it off and walk on and it melts my heart every time and I could be angry or mad or I know that's not really kryptonite but maybe I just miss my dog and I want to give a shout out. Lucky if you're watching. I love you. I'm not sure Listen. if lucky. Or listening. Oh, see? Listening. Definitely not watching. So uh, kryptonite. What another kryptonite? Um, you have a lot of kryptonite. I have a lot of kryptonites. I could be here all night. Um, just men. A man with a nice word and a compliment. Man with what? With a nice compliment. It's a great I really like your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Yeah. Um, the motto, our website is gonzogeek.com. Gonzogeek.com. Our motto is everyone is a geek about something. Oh. So what are you a geek about? Fighting. Sword fighting, stage combat, everything. Like, I actually dress up as Princess Leia and fight Elizabeth Swan and fight in a pirate. I'm such a geek. Like, I'm Which Princess Leia? Was it like the, the, the ones hair with buns? the buns, okay. yeah. Well, I've not the slave girl, but I've been the one in the uh, green jumpsuit um, a couple times. But yeah, like, I'm a geek. Like, I can't even name the right <laughs> Princess Leia. I'm like the one in the green, green jumpsuit. But yeah, no, we do lightsaber fighting, and I freaking love. Yeah, right? I have Sorry, a lightsaber no, in my backseat. No, Cobra Commander just walked behind you. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I thought he was, like, going this to me. No, no Cobra Sorry. Commander walked by, and he was like, what? <laughs> no, I really was cheering on the yes. lightsaber. <laughs> oh, okay. I have one in my back seat, just in case, for zombies or whatever. You should have brought it with you. I, I should have. It would have been the, stolen so Fend off the fanboys or something, Right? You know? Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I once got all that the ones yeah. somebody because I was doing a fight and I had actually a cheap lightsaber and it came unglued and flew out and I was like, I went and smacked somebody right in the head that wasn't even part of this. Just smacked them upside the head. It was so embarrassing. I was like, yeah, that's a real lightsaber. It just came apart. So. And then just to wrap up, let everybody know uh, how they can keep up with you, social media, yeah. website, all that good stuff. Uh, my Twitter name is Kat Annette, that's C-A-T underscore A-N-N-E-T-T-E. Uh, my, Facebook, Facebook. my Facebook is Catherine Annette. <laughs> yeah, I'm not tired at all. <laughs> Catherine Annette. So follow me and I'll follow you. Thank you very much.